The most meaningful pieces in our story work bundles inform identity, speak to personal strengths, nurture the spirit, express the sacred, contribute to feelings of resiliency, and reflect the gifts and talents inherent in all of us. Because we all have a story. Throughout the three-month program, the youth explored how objects tell stories and develop skills in object literacy. They were also introduced to record literacy and looked closely at old pictures for contextual clues in a workshop on reading photographs. Our bundle family was gifted a turtle rattle to represent truth. Students then chose a grandfather and grandmother teaching they aspire to live by. These were adapted from Leanne Simpson's Dancing on Our Turtle's Back, and our Anishinaabe language advisor, Billy Joe Green, worked closely with them. A land-based photo narrative is a creative outlet for connecting with the land. Through the lens of photography, students were encouraged to tell a story or document a theme. The youth even enjoyed an adventure to a local thrift store. Students were given a $30 cash budget, and this activity was geared towards financial literacy. They found special items that triggered positive memories and nostalgia, reproductions and character pieces. We wanted them to take home the idea that our most prized possessions, tied to our sense of identity, wholesomeness and self-worth, shouldn't be at the cost of a big price tag. Many of their bundle items were brought from home. In keeping with Indigenous traditions, the youth shared oral interpretations of their bundles through digital storytelling. My name is Selena, and I'm a sister and a daughter. I like to draw and do photography, and I'm also a digital artist who likes editing. I'm writing a novel called Wandering Witch, and it's my first novel. I'm on chapter three, and some of the stories are reflections from my own life. I hope to get it published someday. After I graduate from high school, my mom and I would like to open a cafe where we sell artwork and curiosities. A teaching I want to live by is Zagidea uh, Owen. The reason why I chose this for my bundle is because it reminds me of my grandpa. He, my mom always gets him like wine bottles, but then like his favorite flavor is like the strawberry one. And this I got at the thrift shop. What well, says mother and dad? And like I really appreciate my parents and everything they do for me. And this is a picture of me and my mom. She was about like 16, and I was just a baby. Got this which me and my dad made together, and it's really special to me. This is something that brought us closer. I got this from Vanda and Jesse. It's waffle, and it smells really good. It's like a little seed, I think. And um, we got this, I think it was on the first day for our bundles. It's a little um, pouch of tobacco. And then I got two pictures. One from when I was a baby, I fell asleep in my high chair eating. And this is one of me and my dad. Oh, I just wanted to get like a picture of both of my parents. So that's why I chose these two. That's all. My name is Kira Young and I am 13 years old. 
I am a sister to three brothers, Emmett, William, and Justin. I live with my mother and my stepdad, Nathan, and my dad lives in Ontario, where he is surrounded by his family. I try to have fun in my life. For example, I am a dancer at Ken Peters Dance Express, where I do ballet, jazz, acro, hip-hop, and lyrical. I also do the Shaw Dance in Palos. My bright green regalia is part of who I am, and it was made for me by a grandmother of one of my oldest friends. Powers make my spirit dance, and I want to be part of that circuit. <laughs> <laughs> the teaching I want to live by is Diba Dan Dizi Win. This is a piece of jewelry that one of my old favorite teachers gave me before I left the school and before our first powwow. And I use it to go on my belt when I'm wearing my bright green regalia. I chose the color bright green because me and my friend, on this Color Wars day, we decided to be all rebel and we were supposed to wear red, but we wore green, we painted our faces green, we dyed half our heads green, <laughs> and we um, put, like, yeah, we put face paint on, we wore a green t-shirt and green pants, and yeah, it was the friend that passed away. All that leads me to this piece of a, like a jingle from a jingle dress that one of my best friends passed away and it was the one that I ended up getting to keep in memory of her. This mirror is to show everyone whoever looks in it and any mirror actually it'll show them how beautiful they are and handsome and that they shouldn't feel insecure about anything because they're beautiful. This is a lot to me because it says someone special when I count my blessings I always count you twice is to represent my mom because she had cancer breast cancer and been through chemo for about four months three or four months and every three weeks she got a new like chemo more chemo in her and she just finished a few weeks ago a couple weeks ago My name is Jersey Holt and I'm 13 years old and I'm the middle child in a family of seven children. As of January 22nd, I'm a proud uncle to my nephew Grayson. I grew up in Selkirk and moved to Winnipeg in 2015. When I came to Burning Wolf Community School, I joined the Winnipeg Jets Hockey Academy and I've enjoyed participating in sports since. I'm also passionate about the technology and in the future I aspire to have a career as an informative technician. The teaching I want to live by is Nibwa A Cohen. This is in my bundle because when I first came to Winnipeg, I joined the Winnipeg Jets Hockey Academy and I'm still in it today. This is in my bundle because it reminds me a lot of like my dad because, I don't know, he just kind of described as a bear a little bit. And he kind of dresses like that. This is in my bundle because uh, in Selkirk, I actually had the same book and I read it when I was like in grade four. This is in my bundle, because my grandpa he used to do carvings somewhat like this, and it just reminds me a lot of him. These are the photos me and Daniel took at the Bio Reserve, and I like going up. It was a fun experience, because it was really sunny that day, and it was nice, and. There were a lot of dogs running around, and it was just cool to be out there and like this and take some good pictures. That was a rock with some moss on it that I found, and because we were learning about the moss bag, it was just reminded me of that. That one is of a fort we found walking along the trail. You can actually like sit inside of there and go inside. It was pretty big. My name is Aaliyah St. Germain. I am a sister, an auntie, a daughter, and a good friend. My name is Aaliyah St. Germain. I am a sister, auntie, a daughter, and a good friend. I am a young Métis woman who grew up in the Paw, Manitoba, and I moved to Winnipeg in the spring of 2019. I started jigging at the age of six, and I competed in my first contest at the age of 10. My dad was there to watch me, and that meant the world to me. I love jigging because of the connection I make, feel with the music, and 
the elders and the people in the audience, when I see them smiling and clapping, it makes me feel happy. A teaching I want to live by is the Ba Dan Dizawin. These things I put in my bundle is because my sister made them when she was seven. She passed them on to me and I had them since. So this is my dad and this is my mom. And the reason I put them in my bundle is because they can, I can talk to them about if I have a problem and they would support and help. I put these in my bundle because when I was in Cuba, I met someone that was from Nunavut. And they had these on their backpack and I was like, hey, I really like those. So I gave them and then they were like, here, I have them. So like, you always remember me. I put this in my bundle because Dreamcatcher, because it reminds me of my dad when we were um, shopping at like a power dress store. And I was like, hey, I really want this. And then it reminds me of my dad. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Joshua and my nickname is Cashew. It's no wonder as I'm always hungry. My favorite food is kare kare. I'm a granddaughter, niece, cousin, as well as a sibling in between nine others. I have three dads, two moms, and countless cousins. My favorite kind of music is K-pop. My favorite bands are Astro, EXO, B1A4, Super Junior, Boyfriend, Newest, and GOT7. I like listening to Korean bands because I can learn another language. I would like to learn my indigenous languages too. My spirit connects with music and I can play water songs on the flute. My fingers are good with the keys and you'll hear me play all of the Christmas favorites on the piano. I'm teaching I want to live by is Dibad and Dizzy Wynn. I chose this item for my bundle because it represents my first ever plane ride to the Philippines when I was seven years old. I like sleeping in these because it like it's it supports your neck, so you won't have a stiff neck when you're when you wake up. I chose this item to be part of my bundle because I like the color blue, and I like lights. I chose this item to be in my bundle because when I was younger, my friend's mom, whenever she would call her daughter inside, she would always ring a bell like this, so that she can hear hear when it's time to go inside. I chose this item for my bundle because my younger sister, who's five years old, likes Barbie dolls. She has three Barbie dolls at home, and it wouldn't hurt to buy her one more. And it's just because I'm nice to her. And I chose this item to be in my bundle because my little brother, he likes the color red, and he's a little ninja at home. He's always hiding from my mom and dad, and he loves hiding and playing. I chose this suit to be in my bundle because it represents my transitioning. I chose this picture of a puddle because I like rain and rain is like, rain can help the grass grow, rain can help the trees grow, and rain is a good source. I chose these tree pictures because tree gives us oxygen, trees are nice, and trees are trees. I chose this last picture of a TV because it represents Aboriginal culture, and I'm Aboriginal. My name is Sienna Rose Hobson. I have three siblings, and their names are Taylor, Preston, and Savannah. I love them so much. I don't know my spirit name or clan family, but I would like to learn more about my cultural identity. When I get older, I want to work with animals. The teaching I want to live by is De Bue Win. My name is Daniel Larrell Sinclair Jr. Sky. I'm a member of Kelsey's First Station. My spirit name is Ela, and I am 
from the wolf clan i grew up in the city but i visit my grandpa's reserve i love i live with my grandparents and i hear them speak in the shinobi language i wish they would teach me i have three siblings one brother and two sisters and i also am an uncle my favorite subject is math and i like to play video games like fortnite i like to play football at once it's nice enough outside i ride my bike here to school every day when we did the land based photos project, I loved being on the land digging up old treasures. Mm -hmm. I teach in I Want to Live by Is. They boy win. I brought a bunch of items from the thrift store, but I gave most of them away to my friends. Big, big breath. Big excitement one more time. My name is Jade and I moved to Winnipeg two years ago with my auntie. I grew up in Camperville and I have two brothers and four sisters who still live there. My sister Summer is 10 and we are close. We play Roblox together all the time. I will always have a connection with land and I like fishing in creeks and going to the beach with my friends while I miss my friends from home. I also like the friends I've made in Winnipeg. I picked these sandals from a bundle. I always used to wear them when I was younger. I picked this doll from a bundle because I always used to play with them when I was younger. These candles remind me of um, when we always used to lit them when the power goes off. I got this from a bundle because I always used to wear them when I was a little kid, like always, and never lose hope. My name is Rosa Mann and my spirit name is Northern Lights Woman. I was born 2008. I'm a middle daughter, I'm a sister. My cousins live in Black River and though I don't get to visit them often, I feel close to them. My grandpa speaks African and I enjoy learning the language from him. I express myself clearly through drawing and my passion is horse riding. Teaching that I want to go by is a great quote of discipline. I chose this bundle item because um, it's my favorite stuffy and I got it on my birthday because my, my dad gave it to me when I was seven. And this flower I used to like because um, I used to always pick flowers for the garden. I used to decorate it. And this picture I was I was drawing and then my mom put it on a frame. Three, two, one, action. I'm a ten year old son and and family. We have four children. I grew up in Churchill and wanna pay. I have a really powerful imagination. I'm, I'm good with computers. I am passionate about Pokemon. I like playing video games and, and Skyrim is my favorite. If I had a pet dragon, I would want Parthenax at my side with Legendary as a backup. I really enjoy this project because it was all about me and my spirit. And teaching how I live by is off day when this puppy we my is me of a of all the cute dogs hugs where I walk. And this this reminds me yeah, yeah of, of an ocean. And I used to swim in the lake. I like to look out this we my is me yeah, of, of trying to be healthy and it reminds me of being in the skinny when once I was in Churchill. And this this air conditioner I bought because I like the wind. I like to feel it. This is me looking at the Canada flag. This is me dabbing.
My name is Tyler Romero and I grew up in the north end of Winnipeg, Manitoba on St. John Street. I am a sister to nine siblings. I am the third oldest. Their names are Faith, Tyson, Terrell, Caitlin, Emma, Ra Catalina, Riley, and Tatiana. I see my brothers and sisters a few times a week and I enjoy hanging out with them when I'm at my dad's. My favorite things to do are playing outside with my friends and dancing in the rain. I really love to draw and spend my hours in my room making my visions come to life on paper. The teaching I want to live by is Du Bois Den Dizouin. This is a doll I got from the thrift store because it reminded me of Miss Lisa. This is the plate I got from when we went to the thrift store. I got it because my grandma always cooks for us. And this is a picture of me and my uh, friend, Selena. This is what I got when I was born, this bunny from my uh, grandma. This is also the dream catcher I got when I was born. A thing I got beaded by my grandma when I first started dancing. Hi, I'm Rain Spilchuk and I come from an indigenous and Ukrainian background. My dad is Métis, my grandma's First Nations, and my grandpa is Ukrainian. They all mean a lot to me. I'm the third oldest in my family and I love all my siblings. Even though I don't get to see them often, one of my best memories is with my grandma picking medicines like wild strawberries. I felt so connected to her. Singing and creating art and photographing on the land ignites my spirit. I'm drawn to the turtles and I want to learn more about how they influence my identity. Thank you for listening to my story. A teaching I want to live by is I chose to have this in my bundle because my grandma, she has so many pillows like this and she like puts them around the house, bedrooms, kitchen, anywhere, like. And it reminds me of my grandma so much because her favorite color is pink and my favorite color is green and my grandpa's favorite color is white. So that's why I d chose to take this. I chose this necklace because my grandma has one, but the jewel's pink. And it reminds me of her so much because me and her do a lot of stuff together. We go medicine picking, we go out on our canoe. I chose this because she always believed in me for whatever I did. And she always said, Rain, you can do it, you can do it, do it. And then she would normally like sing a song and then like it would make us happy. I chose this bracelet because it represents my family because on each side there's me, my grandma, my grandpa, my sister, my brother. And my my full family, like we usually choose a color for like our family. Like we have one color. So the color we like is like reddish, kind of like this color, but like more cor coral. This item, I chose it because uh, she usually, whenever I go medicine picking, she would always wear dresses like this. One day when the power went out, my grandma, she took, she couldn't find candles, so she went outside to the neighbors and lit a candle, and then we went outside, and we would like sit down at the porch, and then like, my grandma would tell us funny stories about my grandpa and my family, and she would always light a candle. My name is Daphne Chokin and my home community is St. Martin. We speak in Anishinaabe or Jiboy. I don't get to see my family often, just my brother and sister. I miss all of them I speak, and my spirit name is Rainbow. I love my home right now and it's an amazing feeling. I'm at home with this one and I might even get adopted. I'm so excited. I've never really attended a ceremony but I hope to this summer. I also want to learn more about where I belong in the clan system. I'd like to get out of the city and down the road. I'd like to travel to around the states to places like Las Vegas and Los Angeles. I'm going to live my life to the fullest. A teaching I want to live by is Gwe Kwa Dizawain. 
why I picked this bundle item is because it reminds me when I was little, I used to always wear sandals. Why I picked these earrings for my bundle is because my mom always used to wear um, hoop earrings and I used to love them, And but now she doesn't wear them anymore. Why I chose this princess thing is because I, I really wanted to be a princess when I was little and I liked wearing crowns. Why I picked this doll is because I used to always play with dolls when I was little. Why I picked this picture frame for my bundle is because it has my best friend Rosa in it because she's nice. Why I picked this leaf throwing leaves on the air is because I, it, it means to me that I'm having lots of fun. Why I picked this thing is because it's really meaning to me because I, it looks beautiful.